The contents of this video are for informational purposes only. Please consult the manufacturer's guidelines and use and care instructions before beginning. Hi, this is Pat Clark from Lifting Gear Hire Corporation, and today we're discussing troubleshooting ideas regarding our mighty electric winch. If you looked at our demonstration video earlier, you already know not to use inferior extension cords. However, what happens if your unit's still not working? So we want to start out with the basics first. You want to check your power source to make sure it's adequate enough and any extension cords leading up to the plug itself. We want to check that plug, make sure there's no loose wires or screws. Next, with the power unit off and unplugged, we want to go to the control box. Remove some screws, lift the panel up. You want to start by checking the contacts on the relays. You want to depress them and hear a clicking sound. That'll tell you they're moving freely. Also check any loose wires or screws that may have been caused by vibration. Check the resistors to make sure the porcelain isn't cracked or they're broken entirely. If the unit is running but not breaking properly, it could be due to a bad resistor or brushes. To check the brushes, we remove the necessary nuts and bolts on the top near the housing. Remove the housing, and to check one of two brushes, we unscrew this first cap, pull out the brush, and determine how worn it is. If it's anything less than about 3 eighths inch, you may need to replace it. This could be due to the length of rental and the amount and frequency that you've used your winch. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. However, if your unit is still not functioning properly, give us a call. As a reminder, the contents of this video were for informational purposes only. Please consult the manufacturer's guidelines and use and care instructions before beginning.